Hello, this is Robert, and we're here for another week of new products. We've got a lot of neat stuff, and we're going to talk about just a few things today. Go to the website, check out the whole post, and see all the things that we have for you this week. Here is the Seedduino Film by Seed Studios. It's actually just a really small Arduino. It comes in a handy little film canister, and here it is. This has a Atmega 168, which is actually what the old Arduino used to use, and it has pretty much all the functionality of a full Arduino with all your input and output pins. Um, you do need to connect to separate like FTDI Basic or something like that. Uh, but it has a battery charger built in and you've got a battery jack, a charge jack, and you've also got this 20 pin header which allows you to connect multiples of these together if you need more pins. And they've also made it so that each one of these junctions, you can cut them. So if you don't need all these extra pins, you can just cut that section off. And of course it's flexible, so you can use this inside of clothing, wearable technology, or whatever else you want. And they also give you a little tiny LiPo battery that goes along with the whole thing, so pretty neat. You guys have been asking for this one for a little while and we finally got it in. The Netduino Mini is just a smaller version of the Netduino. It still shares the Microsoft.NET programming platform and it shares the same IC. It's just a lot smaller, it has a couple less pins. As you can see next to our Arduino Pro Mini, it's a little bit smaller. And it also fits in the breadboard just fine, so you can prototype it. And the cool thing about this is it actually accepts anywhere from 7.5 to 12 volts, so you can use it with a 9 volt battery. And it's just a neat little platform, and it'll be good for a lot of portable applications. So we've also got a few more conductive threads to add to the whole lineup. This is the old conductive thread that we've always had, and as you can see, it's substantially thinner than um, these three new ones. We've got a thin, we've got a thick, and then we've got an extra thick. And the extra thick is pretty heavy and it's almost like a yarn fabric. And in addition to all of these, we also have a conductive ribbon that we've um, carried for a couple weeks now. And the conductive ribbon actually has three separate conductors inside of it, which is pretty neat. And all of these can be used for any kind of e-textile project you've got or lily pad stuff for sure. So check out the um, e-textiles category and see what all we've got in there. These are actually pretty useful. They're basically a barrel jack to screw terminal adapter. We've got them in a female and a male version. So let's say you've got an Arduino or something else with a DC power jack and you want to wire it into a wired power supply, you can plug it in and now you've got two screw terminals that you can plug wires into. And of course, if you've got a breadboard with you know, two leads coming off of it, you can plug that right in and then now you've got a barrel jack that you can plug into your power supply. So they're pretty useful and pretty handy to have around. If you've ever wanted to make custom wiring harnesses like this, you've probably noticed that the little pins needed to make these harnesses are actually really complicated and really difficult to use. And we've been looking for a tool that does that for quite some time, and we found that they're horrendously expensive. They can be anywhere from $300 to $500. So we eventually found this little pair of pliers. These are a lot cheaper and they get the job done. You can do all sorts of different sizes with them and they work with all the pins that we carry for our JST and Molex connectors. So just look in related products for the pins and the housings to make your own custom assemblies. So here are just some of the products that we have for this week. We've got plenty more on the website, so check out the product post and see all the other stuff we have for sale. We will definitely see you next week. We've got a lot more to talk about then. So see you later.